guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing some shibalonke adc boys i just got out of <laughs> out of an absolute nightmare of a game man i got out of like a 50 minute osiris support game uh yeah so we're playing some shibalonke in the meantime i almost got sup again i don't know why i switched roles um yeah, this, this kind Kepri was nice enough to not let me sup again and, and was willing to actually trade. So we're playing a little Shib ADC. I think Shib is pretty fun right now. I don't think he's meta or anything. I think his kit's generally pretty bad at the moment. Um, however, I do think he's uh, he's a little better, I feel like, at the moment than he has typically been more recently. Just from the little, the little baby bit that I've played him. I could be wrong on it. I could be delusional. He's just one of those ADCs where because he's got a little more late game in his kit, he's a little less lane dependent. Um, like that ultimate that's normally really bad for trading in lane. It matters a little less because you're trading in lane less in general at the moment. So I think he's got some pretty solid late game for that. He's got that bonus bola damage. He's got the long range ult autos and just the general um, kind of like blind effect of the ult. This is a kill. If I land these autos, it's a kill, but it's taken me a minute here. Nice. Good stuff, man. Let me bully this guy too. Yeah, get out of here. Be careful, right? No, no, no. No cringe ganks. Come on. None of that. Have we actually gotten our arrow? What? <laughs> Did not realize she was already here. Okay, we got a decent slow. I think we clean it up. Oh, no. I missed one. I missed one, man. I don't know if it was quite a kill. She might have. I think she maybe would have had one HP. That sucks. I tried. I tried. The slow wasn't quite fan enough. Who got the kill credit? Of course it's Apollo. God damn it. It always sucks when it's the guy that you're laning against, right? Let the jungle be fed. I don't care. Let other people deal with the kill. So we're going to go not the typical Shiba build that I feel like has typically been meta. Um, and I might regret it late game. We'll see. But generally on Shibalanke, because late game you have... Well, I say late game. Also early game you have some mana problems just because you're constantly draining some mana with your bolas. Um, a lot of the time it feels really good to go Death Toll. And we're going to try and go, oh my god, we do so little damage after the Baron one right there. You guys see that? That 30% drop, we went from 80 per auto to 56 per auto. Oh, we didn't quite. I tried to weave that on Apollo right there. Yeah, it's crazy how much damage I'm doing right now. I'm not even particularly trying to hit them, and we're, <laughs> we're still just clapping. I think this is a good fight right here. Nice. We get to chase this down, don't get mezzed. I think he's... Oh my god, the shell. So now you shell, huh? That's too bad, man. That was so close to a kill. That was 100% the shell diff right there. It wasn't even close. Let's see if we can get these arrows. We got one of them. Yeah, so we're going to be a little bit mana hungry right now since I'm only relying on arrow procs for mana. I don't know where Nem is. Oh, Nem is down there. Actually, we can do this. I didn't realize she was down there. I thought it was a little spooky, but I think we can get this. Maybe Apollo gets back now. Maybe I goof too hard. I'm not sure. We'll even dump all our mana on it through the bolas. To be fair, it's not that mana hungry right now. I think they even nerfed it at some point, right? I'm pretty sure. I want to say this used to be all the way down to three mana per bola, but I could be wrong. It could just have been five the whole time. Yeah, give me that arrow. By the way, arrow getting absolutely hard nerfed next patch. Um, even on the gods that really like it, you're probably not going to want to build it because you get way less money out of it soon. So, like, the main reason you build this is because if you get a lot of last hits, you get a farm lead, you get to late game faster. That's no longer really going to be anywhere near as true. I think you're losing four gold per proc, if I remember right. And that's going to add up a lot as it goes on because they're <laughs> they're basically, they're taking off something like 60% of the gold gain on that passive. It's going to be ridiculous. Here, I'll just let Kepri get it since I want to make sure we don't miss anything here. Apollo, can you chill? Just let me get my wave, man. Just let me clear this. All right, we'll try it back in a sec. I got my Devo's money. I think we'll take one more wave if we can. Poke him. Get out of here. Yeah, I think Ship is pretty good at the moment. Like, his early game is acceptable. Um... He's got, he's got plenty of damage. He can do okay in lane. He's got really good auto damage, which feels really nice right now. And then you can just get to late and do dumb Shibalanke late game things. Feels pretty strong. 
All right, well, finally, this wave we actually clear fast enough that we'll dip, and hopefully we'll actually get to catch our stuff here. We're gonna try something a little funky. We're gonna do uh, <laughs> we're gonna do one of those out of base. We're gonna we're gonna purely use ult for a little bit of zoom right there, and that's basically it. Cause I'm probably not gonna need it for lane, and that way we get back to our minions just a tiny bit faster, a little little sliver faster, 20% move speed for like a couple seconds. Not the best, but it's something. It's some sort of use for it. Nice, we got one stack. So one thing worth keeping in mind, um, you guys, if you don't really play Shibalanke, don't level the one. I feel like right now of any time is a little more tempting to level the one because more sustained damage like your autos feels better. But you use so much mana as you level it up that it's not worth even if you up your DPS. You just run Oom, and that's even if you go Death Toll. It's so hard to keep your mana sustained. Like, there's probably a genuine argument for us as we get into the late game. Um, since I'm not going Death Toll and I'm not going Death Embrace, there's probably a legit argument to not rank the one up past one even when we have the levels. Because at least that way we save our mana and we get to keep using the bolas every fight, even though we lose damage. So, worth keeping in mind, we're going to level the other stuff. Some damage on this man real quick. Farm him! Yeah, that would have done like half his health bar last patch. <laughs> that would have been a lot last patch. Right now it doesn't do too much. Oh, he's one of those, huh? He got Gilded Arrow in the second slot, you weirdo. By the way, our passive is stacked right now. I've been doing so much damage in the early game, it's kind of gross. Already got like three and a half stacks. Alright, what are we doing here, Clean? Are you going for gank? I don't think we really get to kill him at all. Yeah, I gotta actually clear the wave, so I don't think it's really worth it. Clean, what are we doing? She had some poke on him. She got a purple buff. That's actually not too bad. That's pretty worth. I don't think we stay, though, because he's just gonna run back to tower. That was actually a pretty good gank, though. I wonder, she probably didn't get as active, right? Not that it matters too much for us. Let's go see if we can yoink this real quick. So I'm hoping we can get some fights in the early game right now, because we're still stacking devos. The damage is a bit potato at the moment, but for one thing, it's always good to fight on Shiba just to try and actually get your passives upgraded. Hang on, do you goof? No. Not enough to really matter. If, if we got him really low, I could bounce off the tower there with ult. We got one on him. But not remotely close enough to a kill for that right there. See, if he doesn't heal, whoops. If he doesn't heal too much, I think I can kill him with a combo here. But we're going to get clapped by tower. Yeah, we're not going to go for it. It's not going to be worth. I'm going to get so chunked. Yeah, 225 first hit. Feels good. He's getting a little greedy though. Hold up. Well, Apollo. Better chill, my man. Kind of popping off with the bullet damage right now. That's the thing that's so gross about Shiba is when you're actually getting those big... Can I get any of these, please? <laughs> when you're getting those bola procs consistently, it's so much bonus damage once it stacks up over time. We're getting like 40 or 45 per, per the AoE hits right now. Okay, we just wiggled through absolutely all of that and we got his ult. <laughs> Literally wiggled every Baron cooldown, man. Oh my god. Well, Baron ult. Easy enough. Hi. Oh, look at this money. Oh my god. Hang on, let's spook him. Oh, I don't have ult. <laughs> I was gonna scare him off with ult. This should be really good. This should be a good fight. Apollo should be in a lot of trouble. Try and stay out of the mez. Nice. Hopefully we get to kill this guy someday. Get those ranged autos on him. No, that shell ain't doing shit. Nice, good stuff, boys. All right, let's go back. Let's farm up a bit. I'm trying to think, what do we want to build first here? Do I care about Wind Demon on Shiba? Probably not that much. I think we might just get Kins done really early. It does hit pretty hard. Yeah, and generally, we want to really try and prioritize uh, attack speed's really important, since we don't have any stims for attack speed. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should have, like, that's funny, I actually, I think I'm only, 
thinking about it because I think the last time we played Shibalanka, I brought up that his ult should really do something else other than just move speed. It should have some attack speed on it. <laughs> I think because of that, I was like, wait, does he have it on? <laughs> does he have it on ult? No, but he should. I really don't know why he doesn't. It's just move speed and auto range increase. It makes no sense, man. Why would it not up his DPS? Such a weird ability for that. All right, let's go back. We got a billion money. I could go the soup. Hi. I think I'm just out farming so hard I don't care. Yeah. Okay, then we beads. Okay. Okay. Nemel, not too bad. I don't think we die here in a sec, so I think we're just going to wait for this wave to push in. I'm assuming we needed a beads. I figured to begin with, I probably shouldn't have bothered turning because there's like no way we kill her unless we're literally 1v1, but I figured she would have ulted to begin with <laughs> if she had it. So it kind of sucks that we have to beads the ult. Oh my, do not go back for the purple Apollo, please, man. Just let me back. I have so much money. You here? Yep. Yep, he's here. Get out. I'm assuming we're going to get rotated on if I stay too long. Maybe not. Maybe we're good. It looks like we're fine. Nice. Because he took so long, we get more arrow procs. So that's big brain. <laughs> that works out, doesn't it? By the time I finally back, we're going to finish two items. How about that? And actually, speaking of which, I'm going to be greedy right here. For one thing, we got the Capri gank. And then we can also get level 12 in a sec. Nice. And he got the beads off of him. Good stuff, man. All right. Boom. Level 12. Easy back. Let's go get a Kins. We'll work in a crit. This. 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 So much different stuff we get done right now. Yeah, so the build path right now, we're probably going to be looking to go um, Wind Demon, Atalanta's... Wait, no, I can't fit all that. Wind Demon, <laughs> Silver Branch, Deathbringer? Maybe I don't get to go Deathbringer this game because I need attack speed. Maybe we do go in Atalanta's. I don't know. Attack speed, good. All right, attack speed, good. We want to squeeze in some crit where we can just because it's strong at the moment, but the big priority is definitely going to be attack speed. And Wind Demon does give a lot of attack speed, so it's nice to get online soon. It's not as big of a power spike as kin size is, but it scales up really well on delete. By the way, they've got a trebuchet down there. We'll see if Apollo pushes it up soon. Also, see if Apollo gets clapped right here. Think he might. Enemy missing left. I would have liked it if that one that ghost hit didn't ghost hit. <laughs> It would have been good, man. It would have been good. Stupid Shibalanke ult. I mostly just potatoed, though. I should have I should have hit one of the other ones, but oh my god, man. I hate it. Ghost hit so often. It's so obnoxious. Yikes. All right, we're going to level up the ult first because this costing mana is bad. I really, maybe we really won't level the one. I'll have to feel it out. Right now, I'm definitely using mana this game. And it's just so important to keep being able to bola. So... I think we'll try it out, and then if at some point it feels like it's fine, we'll finally level it. But I'm going to struggle so much with the MP5. It's actually like, it's almost enough that it's another reason to go Dom, because Dom actually has MP5 on it. One of the rare spots where the MP5 on Dom might mean something. But I want a tank speed, and Dom doesn't give us that. Come here, Apollo. You want to fight? No? I think he wants a purple buff. Hang on. Nope. What? What? Get out of here. Get out of here. I got too spooked to the meds. I shouldn't have worried about it. I don't think we kill him quite anyways, but the reason I didn't fully like W key at him right there is because I thought his meds would get me. And I thought we'd still be able to kill eventually. He's dead? Oh my dude. Shell plus a... Uh... Do we ever get out of this? On the other team got okay. I'm gonna assume that's a no. I think we died a Baron one in a sec. Capri, please! Oh! Wait, wait, why did he auto? <laughs> why did he not? Boys, can I? Please, man, what the? F 
It's what they couldn't appeal that. But like, hello, Kepri has eyes. The rest don't. Oh my god. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I don't think they have any magical stop chalk from ulting abilities. So we did just get kind of screwed by timing. And he's getting screwed up by his own build. What the hell? This man has over half of their kills and he's building Dom. Imagine how many he'd have if he didn't build Dom, if he didn't go Dom on <laughs> on Chalk. Why do you have this item? Actually, that might have been a misclick. Maybe that's that might that might be all there is to it. He might have meant to go Heartseeker, because Heartseeker makes sense. I have no clue why he'd go why he'd go Dom though. Can somebody report that guy? Uh oh. Well, team is dying. What the hell were they doing that they were, they were, they invaded speed. Was that all there was to it? Did they like fight at speed? Because Kepri was coming from speed when he came to ult me and they were over there too. I don't know what sort of nonsense is happening across the map right now. Yeah, it's crazy that we live for that long. It's funny, if it wasn't a Baron support, if it was basically any other support in the game, I think we could have gotten out there. Beads would have been enough. But he's so ridiculously mobile, man. He's got the CC plus the two move speed that he gets to gift him in Apollo. He just goes zooming. Can you stop trade? Learn! Stop trading! Enemy missing left. Oh my god, that was clean. Makes up for the tower kill, doesn't it? So clean. Give me your purple. Why is this down? Alright, we probably get ganked in a sec. I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we probably get ganked. I don't care. I need a back anyways. Send me back the easy way. All right, let's go get a wind demon done. Um, yeah, we definitely want silver branch. Oh, what? I put a level in the bowl as I'm trolling. I'm trying to think, is there any way that we can deal with this? Let's say I auto 20 times in a fight, 340 mana at max rank. I'm almost level 20. That's like half of our mana so far. So it's not looking good. I think we try and I try and remember to not level this. It'll be hard because like whoever does that ever, but <laughs> it's going to be helpful this game. Maybe we can tactically get fire giant so I get some MP5 going. Fire giants and blue buffs will just hard carry this game. I did it out of habit instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think twice at all, man. Straight up instant. Apollo, stop trading, my dude. You're dead. Tower hurts. Tower did like my entire health bar in three shots. It looks like they're all mid, so I think we're fine. Let me get a little word. Ooh. Yoink. Yeah, at this point, we might as well full commit to the bolas, but <laughs> it really would have been good to keep it at rank one if I could stop myself. Yeah, I kind of want the tower, though. Man. We'll see if ult's enough to get out here. We might be pretty dead. It looks like ult will be enough. Okay, we got some really good relics right there. All right, can I get my purple too? It's a little bit greedy, but uh, oh shit! <laughs> Thank God he didn't know. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot Apollo ult might actually be something that got used there. I got a little spooky for a sec. Nuwa Solo is definitely doing some Nuwa Solo stuff right now, where she is just pushing it down that lane. Do we ever get to defend this? They probably just delete it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Kleena just kind of dipped. I don't know why she didn't rotate to that. It's too bad. Alright, do we get a murder Apollo again? I don't have relics, so now ganks are actually pretty spooky. But I do clap this man pretty hard. Yeah, you better dip. <laughs> I think you finally learned. I don't know if he's worried about getting ganked or if he's finally like, alright, I gotta stop. I can't keep trading the Shiba. You gonna goof your positioning here? Alright. Can I get away with this? Please. Please! <laughs> Not even close. 
Such an easy back. Yeah, I think we probably get uh, pretty, pretty murdered right there if that actually hit. I don't know. I could be wrong. No beads makes it a little bit hard. Well, the damage is hitting right now. Our attack speed's looking really good, too. Hold up. If I get Wind Demon, I think we're at 2.3 with Wind Demon right now, right? Given I also have um, upgraded purple at the moment. Oh, it Wind Demon plus Arrow. Okay. So when Ornate gets upgraded, it'll still be similar. Yeah, so we're already around the attack speed cap, so I can get away with the Deathbringer. Deathbringer is just so good, man. Like, the combination of it being an upgradable glyph that's really strong, and then just, you know, having a lot of crit and making the crits hit really fat. It's just such a good item. It feels really bad to trade. I see a lot of people go Atalantis over Deathbringer at the moment, and it feels so bad once you get that late game build to miss out on that. Okay, I don't care that much if it's just these two, I think. Dude, I absolutely clowned on the new R right there, man. Oh my god, dude. That three for the new R stun was so good. So filthy. Dude, we're ghost hitting minions out here. Hi, Rez, come on. Fix your shit. I just want Kepri to tank for like a couple seconds so we can just get this. There we go. Yeah, I'll dip, I'll dip. We're running pretty oom right now. Oh, that was bad. I thought we were going to ult three, and then I ran out of mana to three. So, yeah, you guys good? It looks like they're good enough. We're just going to get back. Do we even need these? <laughs> God damn it, of course we... <laughs> Dude, every time, man, I swear, new Oz have a gift. New uh, players and ulting people the moment they get out of base. There's no way they don't practice that shit or have some sort of genetic genetics talent right there. They might not frag, okay? They might not even do top damage while they spam four, but they somehow manage to like 60% of the time ult you the moment you get out of base. I hate it. Just let me, just ult me in the fountain, please. Just let me insta-heal it. It doesn't matter. We have devos, but... <laughs> So obnoxious, man. So annoying when they do that. Alright, do we get to murder this man? No. Hopefully we don't insta-die, though. We'll see. Oh, well, we wanted it. Yeah, hopefully we don't insta-die for invading that. I'm just trying to farm up for the most part. We, we gotta get some bullying while we can, though. Now we're getting a lot of money really fast on this ornate. Stacking up crazy fast. You gonna goof? You gonna push up to that wave? He might have a ward here, I don't even know. Whatever, I'll go mid. I'll go mid, we'll rotate. It's a little late in the game to keep trying to, <laughs> trying to bully Apollo in lane. Especially when he's not even like defending towers or whatever. Okay, this fight should get really good right here. Stupid Aegis. She's kind of a tanky girl. Let me try and bowl her a little bit. I gotta save a little bit of mana right here. Okay, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm probably a little dead. I don't think that slowed anybody at all. Yeah, we're a little dead. The back line just died there, so there's not much to do about it. We got the one kill in the fight. Half the team died. I don't think we really get to live there. So, uh, our DPS is pretty good. The downside of this build is definitely not having Death Toll slash Death Embrace means you don't get Ebola forever. You definitely do just run Oom um at some point. So that kind of sucks. Um, one way around it hypothetically is Trans, but if you're going to go Trans for that, you should literally just go Death Toll instead of uh, Gilded Arrow. Because Devo's giving you 30% lifesteal is way better than just having mana. So, way more important. I'd rather just upgrade my, like, go to a different starter upgrade instead. But I'm enjoying the DPS, though. We do hit way harder with this Ornate stacked up than we'd hit with, uh, with Death's Embrace at the moment. I get so much damage out of this thing. And we got to our late game build faster, which is cool, too. 
Ooh. The new owl actually gets a last hit. You don't see that too often. Now, when are we going to get the rare new on meta? Has there, has there ever been a new on meta? <laughs> Other than when she was like released and had a dumb kit for pushing objectives before the rework. Because she's always suffered from minion AI, even after they like dramatically buffed it. And then uh, she's just such a vulnerable character, man. I can't remember if she's... I don't think she's ever been good in SPL. Except maybe during the stupid objective push phase of her first kit. It'd be kind of refreshing in a way. Her ult's pretty tilting, but I actually kind of like the rest of her kit. Just because it's very different. Alright, let's try and farm up for Deathbringer if we can. Ideally, it'd be really good to get in Venom too, but that's going to take a little longer. I think this is just free, right? <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was, dude. Nem just only had eyes for me right there. She really just ate the Kraken and died. Oh my god, man. That was too funny. Yeah, as if you couldn't tell, I didn't really care about the Nemo. We just had boys. We had a Capriol, we had Aegis, I had my cooldowns up, I don't know. I feel like, I don't think she even shielded the Kraken, and she should have so easily had a, I guess she doesn't have beads or anything. She should have been able to dash it, too. I don't think she got crippled beforehand, but maybe she didn't, I just missed it. That should be a good ult. Make them blind as hell? Win game off of this fight? I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, she lived from a shell, didn't she? Okay, this guy's gonna do damage. We'll get rid of him first. Bing! Oh, bing! Well! Yeah! Should be should be a pretty easy push. Let's see if Nem ends again. When, when's cracking up? Did he already crack it again? He probably did. We got relics. We don't have Capriol, but we do have relics. Nem, what are you doing? <laughs> By the way, she doesn't have beads because she went this weird ass curse donk. I don't know what I'm watching right now. I think we just win game here. They're dead for a while. And we can we can make minions tank in just a sec. Yeah, they should just do it. Nuot! <laughs> just still pushing right. Yeah, I don't think we need the right Phoenix. I could be wrong. GG, man. We went 12 and 2? I didn't even notice that. I guess we really popped off that game. Do we even kill Apollo that much? Not all that much. Yeah. Did did sort of bully Nuwa though. And, and Nem towards the end, but that was that was mostly Nem bullying herself. So that was such a weird fight. Eats crack into the face and then blinks behind like entire four man and goes for the 1v4, which isn't gonna tend to work out too good. How much damage do we do? Decent bit, man. Always, always good to outpace the spam Nuwa ults. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.